Hi friends, welcome to my another video. Today in this video, I will discuss about the sizing of diesel generator. Before starting this, let us overview what is diesel generator and why it is important to size diesel generator correctly. So what is diesel generator? A diesel generator DG also known as diesel genset is a combination of a diesel engine and an electrical generator to generate electrical energy by using diesel as a fuel. From the definition it is very clear that the diesel generator or DZ or genset is a combination of diesel engine and the electrical generator and it producing the electricity by using diesel as a fuel. Now let us discuss why it is very important to size the diesel generator very correctly. Suppose if someone size a generator which is too large, what does it mean? It means that the load which will process by the generator is critically low than the selected rated generator capacity. For example, if you have only 35 kVA load but you selected a genset of 100 kVA to process this load okay then your genset is called oversize it is recommended that when the generator is running the minimum load on the genset must not be less than 70 percent of its rated capacity selected rated capacity the oversized generator will run always in underloading condition now let me explain what is underloading of generator suppose you selected a generator of 100 kVA okay 100 kVA then this generator when running it should process minimum 70 kVA load because it is recommended that the 70% of the selected kVA rating of the generator must be present when the generator is operating or running but as you selected a generator which is oversized and your load which this 100 kVA generator will process is only 30 kVA to 40 kVA okay then the load on the selected generator is very low and that condition is called under loading of generator now due to the oversized selection of the generator the generator is in under loading condition and due to underloading condition the generator will damage itself why because when the genset is underloaded it has to work harder to reach its operating temperature for the better fuel combustion as a result the generator will be in huge stress even though the generator is trying to achieve the operating temperature due to underloading condition generator will not meet its operating temperature when the generator will not meet its operating temperature then the fuel combustion in the generator will be partial and due to this partial fuel combustion in the generator the unburn fuel create a thick syrup like substance that slowly blocks the piston ring and finally damage the genset so when we oversize the generator, the generator it is badly affect the generator and it will damage the generator itself. As I told you, when the generator is oversized, then the fuel consumption, the fuel combustion is partial. So what will happen? The oil, lower oil performance definitely it's the fuel burning is more, but the work getting from burning fuel is very less. So lower oil, oil performance and higher oil consumption. And as the fuel is burning partially, so during burning it will create more smoke and more suits. This will increase the pollution. As I told you, when you oversize the generator, then for little load you have to operate a bigger size of generator. That will definitely increase your operational expenses which is unnecessary. These are the disadvantage of oversizing of diesel generator. Let us see now what is the disadvantage of undersizing of diesel generator. Generator damage and overheating. Obviously, if you have a load of 100 kVA, 100 kVA and you are selecting a generator of 80 kVA to process this 100 kVA load, then this generator will be overheated. 
and due to this overheating uh, generator will damage insufficient or unreliable power due to overloading the engine of the dg set will be overloaded and it will push the generator to produce more power but in that case the generator has a limited cap capacity to produce power in that case the relay or the protective device connected with the alternator will trip so in that case the power will be unreliable suppose you are doing some critical op operation in the lab and it is backed up by a dg set and due to overloading condition the generator is stripped so your critical operation in the lab will be affected due to tripping of the dg set another point is critical facilities failure due to load losses obviously after the overheating the generator will trip which will create a load loss uh, load loss situation voltage and frequency output may become unstable this is the another disadvantage of overloading the generator or overloading why it is happening because the wrong selection of the generator set which is lesser than our requirement damage of equipment connected to the generator this is another disadvantage this is just an overview to understand that why the sizing of generator correctly is very important now let us move to our main topic that how to size a generator in order to do the correct sizing of dg set we need to list out all the power or all the loads which need to be back up from the generator and your load will widely depend on your type of business or type of operations like if you want to back up your retail shop then the essential load for retail shop is the payment counter lights security and critical server data loads if your project is office building then the essential load for office building will be power and lighting load telecommunication load security and other basic system that will allow people to evacuate the building safely during any emergency so the load which you need to back up it depends on the project type if you have a project like a restaurant or the food establishment then your main focus to back up the load which will refrigerate your food which will secure your food which will prevent your food from spoiling so it will be majorly the hvac loads refrigeration loads right if you have a project like healthcare facility and clinic then your essential load which need to back up will be your life saving systems like your icu's room and other equipment which need to be operated all time in my case i have to back up the essential load in my research center project i found the loads which is essential and which we need to back up is my data center load lift load and sub smdb1 and sub smdb2 which is uh, it feeding all the it loads and the sef panel that is smoke extract panel load these are the load which i need to back up from dg set so i listed it out these all loads one is data center lift sub smdb1 sub smdb2 and existing smoke extract fan panel load so from the sld you can see that load data center has a load of 130 kilowatt lift has a load of 10 kilowatt SMDB have total load 7.4 kilowatt. SMDB sub SMDB two have load of 12.80 watt, and the smoke extract fan panel have a total load of 19.50 kilowatt. So these are the load which I need to back up through DG set. So I listed out here. I listed out the total load like the data center room 130 lift one. 10 kilowatt sub smdb 7.40 sub smdb 2 12.80 and existing smoke extract fan panel total load is 19.50 so my total load is 179.7 kilowatt so i have to select a generator for this load but wait if we will size our dg set depending on the total connected load that is 179.7 kilowatt then our dg set will be oversized 
let me explain why the dg set will be oversized when we will select our dg size depending on the total connected load here our load is data center lift sub smdb1 sub smdb2 and acf panel but these all load will not be operational at a time because lift will be uh, lift will be in the rest when any person will use this one then only it will be operational at all at all together the all load will not be active for a second example the extract fan extract fan will operate when there is a fire in the building or in our research center if anyone doing such critical operation or such critical critical research which will produce smoke so suppose that time data center load is there and sub smdb1 load is there but the lift is not operational that time lift no one is using lift at that time and even if using they are using for very short time and acf fan will be operational only when someone is doing the test which is related to producing the smokes or when there is a fire in the building the purpose of this whole discussion is that the all load connected with the generator will not be functional at the same time suppose if data center load is operational then might be the lift will not operational at that time or no one use using the lift at that time and suppose there is no operation going on where the acf fan need to be operate so the total connected load here is 179 but the running load the actual load which will run at a time we consider as a 125 by using the proper diversity factor here i consider that the 70% of my total connected load will be active at a time so my diversified load will be 179 into 0.7 which will come to 125.99 load so this diversified load is the actual running load on the generator so here i mention the total diversified load which need to be back up by dg set is 125.99 kilowatt here our power factor maintained at pro at our project is 0.08 so the total diversified load which need to back up in kva is equal to 125.9 divided by 0.8 why it is because kilowatt is equal to kva into cos phi power factor okay so we need to we know the kilowatt load we know the power factor to know the load in kva we need to divide it by the cos phi that is the power factor which is in my case 0.80 so we will get the total load which need to be back up in kva is 157.48 kva so we need to select or size a generator which can process this load that is 157.48 kva if we will select a same size of generator set then to process this load generator has to run with his full capacity full rated capacity that is 100% of its capacity but it is not recommended generator set should not be loaded more than 80% of its full capacity so we have to select a generator which can process this load by using its 80% of its capacity so we will divide it by 0.8 so the total calculated dg set rating will be 196.85 kva now this 196.85 kva generator can process this 157.48 kva load by using its 80% of capacity but we know that the generator set is coming in standard size our calculated diesel generator set rating is 196.85 so we have to select a standard size generator nearby our calculated value from the selection chart so here are the list for the standard size of generator here we find that we the 200 kva generator is available and our calculated kva is 196 so this is bigger than our selected kva uh, our calculated kva 
so we will go for 200 kva generator here i have to highlight one important point that the dg generator is a one time investment so we have to consider for the future extension of the load on that dg as we cannot replace the generator for the small extension of load on that generator because diesel set generator is very costly and it is a one time investment if there is a chance for the load extension in future uh, we can consider 10% as a future load extension on the total calculated dg set rating okay but this will be consider if there is a chance in future for the load extension hope you enjoyed my video and find it something informative if you really like my video then please give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel we will meet in any other video till then take care keep learning bye bye thank you so much